Bullying is something I think everyone cares about. No one wants to be a bully. You definitely don't want to be bullied. Either way, it's always something that can be prevented. There's a huge uh, pressure and responsibility on the victim to look for help and report the situation. When actually I'm hoping when you look at these images that the surrounding people who can help will. The project is basically defining and redefining the th three main roles in bullying. I've got the victim, the bully and the bystander. I think at first we wanted to explore the stereotype and then start to break it down. Anyone can be a bystander or a bully or a victim and it's not just a case of Jock V Nerd. I'm using the testimonies of the people I've spoken to to create more accurate images that depict those different roles. When starting making any image, I always try to gather as much information, research and like visual stimulus as possible. When one gets bullied, they may feel like they are low. Helpless, alone, you feel like there's no one out there to talk to. Anxious, they may fidget, they will feel that they have a lower self-esteem. They, they might feel that they're not confident with themselves, they might self-harm. With like such apps of, like Instagram and Snapchat, bullying doesn't always have to like end at school, it follows you home. I think people may become bystanders because they're scared that like they're going to be like a grass or a snitch but then it's doing more damage to them. It might be a little too intimidating to talk to a teacher at first. It's also really awkward because say if that bully was your friend, you don't want the relationship with you and your friend to go. There's just something about that needs to happen, like a, a change of this thing of this it's becoming so normal for people to be bullied. And I feel like if more people just sort of had this idea of like, this is not right, then stepping in and, and not even resolving to violence, but just to stop it. I think people may bully because they're having a hard time at home or like somewhere maybe outside the school, inside the school, and um, they have so much pain inside that they need to get it out. Say exams or homework or any sort of schoolwork is overloading onto them and they can't take it or they can't deal with it. When they when they look at this person, they're like, okay, I'm going to take all of the anger that I feel towards something that's going on at home or my home life, and I'm going to sort of like inflict it upon this person. I hope that people look at that image and want to change that picture. And I hope that people realise that they can change that picture. Advice for bullies is that you don't have to be the bully. You could be the friend or you could offer support to someone else if you really want to turn it around. Or look in the mirror sometimes and just like think about like what you're doing, how it's making others feel. No one wants to be bullied and no one wants to be a bully, you know. So what we need to do is we actually need to look at the picture and see the opportunities to, to change the picture.